Good day, friends. It is me, HL Montech, and a user reached out and asked about making a mask in Tinkercad. I've got an idea, so let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends, let's start with create new design. Once it loads, I'm going to put mask, and I'm going to put my initials after it. And then when you make a mask, you need to think of what shape you want your mask to be like. Do you want a round roof, half sphere, paraboloid, or maybe something fancy down in the all shapes? I'm going to stay with basic shapes, and I think I'm going to try and make mine with the paraboloid. When I bring it out, I'm going to hold down shift, and I'm going to stretch it so that it would go over somebody's face. So you can see right here, this distance is 8 centimeters. I think that is pretty good. But then I'm going to shrink it down so it's got a bit of a mask shape. I'm going to do control D to make a second one. I'm going to push it below. I'm going to make it a hole. And then I'm going to do control up to raise it up. Two clicks. And when I group those two items, we have just created a basic mask. Now, once you've got that shape, you can adjust it however you want. It'll stay the hollow underneath as those pieces have been joined. So now I guess it's what kind of optional features do you want to add to it? I'm going to add a hook so that it doesn't ever get lost. Notice you can shrink it to whatever size you want. And I'm going to just attach that right there and I'll group those. So notice my hook cuts through. I'm going to fix that by ungrouping and ungrouping. And now when I group all three of those together, this one will cut off the inside of that hook so that it's a better design. I do want to go back to my white because I think that is how I want it to look. Let's say we want to add a replaceable cartridge. I'm going to do that by coming out here and I want this to be larger. So my radius I'm going to say is 15. And then I'm going to make the wall thickness too. I do want to make it very, very round. So I'm going to max out the sides. Instead of 10 millimeters, I'm going to do 7 and press enter. Now, if you remember right, this was 15 for a radius. So that means we need 30 for our cylinder. I'm going to hold down shift and stretch it and then type the 30. And once I've got that, you'll notice it lines up perfect. I'm going to change the height to 2 millimeters thick. I want to cut a cool little texture into this, and I'm going to do it with a all shape. If we go to all shapes and move all the way out to page 13, Notice we can just scroll down and click across to get to these. And when you get to page 13, there are a few cool ones you can play with. The circular array is one that'll work. I'm actually going to choose that. I'm going to put it right here. When I drop it on, you can see that it is huge. But this is where you get to fiddle with how big you want it to be. So I'm going to change my size to 2. And I'm going to change my radius. Remember this whole thing was 30. So I'm going to make it 15. And then it's got the eight copies. I'm going to change that to 12 just because I think it's neat. Still doesn't fit with the radius, so I'm going to change it to uh, eight and see if they show up inside. I like that. But you can make your own cool hole that you then push in. And I'm going to hold down Shift and select the two of them, click a line, make the orange one the master center center and then when i group that it'll cut all the way through now i want to attach this to my mask i'm going to do it like this i'm going to ungroup this mask again so that way it'll cut out now i'm going to grab my cool new object and i'm going to rotate it to what i think looks cool and i'm just going to place it up here on the mask notice the cone doesn't lift the way i want anymore this is how you fix that hide hide and put your work plane on the orange piece now when we grab all of that part and lift it comes out the way we want if we do show all we can now adjust that i'm going to make sure that i just have my fancy holes hold down shift my two orange pieces and i can still lift along that plane to get it exactly the way i want i'm going to rotate it custom change the work plane so it's on that spot pull it once again to the exact spot that i think is going to look nifty for my mask creation and when we hit work plane and group we will now have a crazy custom mask with features that we're dreaming up
Alrighty, friends, so I hope that gives you ideas on how to create your own wicked cool Tinkercad mask prototype. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.